Oh, hello there. I'm Lon Basica, member here at Essex County Country Club. Established in 1887, it's New Jersey's oldest country club, and our golf course is consistently ranked as one of the top in the Met area. Our distinguished membership has included prominent politicians, businessmen, actors, even presidents of the United States. And did you know that the great Thomas Alva Edison laced up his spikes here for 42 years? Well, you do now. But enough about the club, let's talk about you. So you want to be a caddy here at the Essex County Country Club. Do you think you got what it takes? Well, do you? You're still here. Well, that's a start. Being a caddy is a noble profession, an essential element to every fine round of golf. Did you know that when I was your age, I was a caddy too? It's a long time ago. Made $18 a bag. Learned a lot about golf. And more importantly, I learned a lot about life. Caddying is a demanding job, but if you do it well, the members will ask for you by name and they'll stuff your pockets full of cash. Master the art of caddying, and the world is your oyster. But it's not as simple as showing up, keeping up, and shutting up. Intrigued? I thought so. Let's get started. Now, to help teach you the ins and outs of looping, we dug up this old instructional film starring my grandfather, that handsome son of a gun. Watch this classic movie, and it'll help get you on your way towards caddy excellence. Enjoy. Essex County Country Club presents Caring for Your Golfer, a caddy training film. Ah, yes. What a beautiful day for a round of golf. Foliage has bloomed, the course is well groomed, and our golfer's swings are finely tuned. But wait, there's something missing, an essential element to any round of golf, the caddy. Let's meet him now, shall we? Here's Chip, the picture perfect model of a first class caddy. Note the proper attire, a clean golf shirt, tucked in of course, Khaki pants, caddy bib, and a name tag. Why, isn't he a dapper Dan? Now compare this with his foul-mannered compatriot, Wally. And what a sorry sight he is. A caddy must carry around many items to ensure a smooth game of golf. Tees, ball markers, a divot repair tool, sharpened pencils, a yardage scope, extra scorecards, the day's pin placement, and a rule book. The caddy totes these implements in a handy, organized bin. Looking sharp! Chip is waiting at the designated caddy area, on time and ready to go. He checked in with the caddy master when he showed up for work earlier this morning. So there's nothing standing between him and the course. Ah, here are some golfers now, warming up before the round. These fellas are the bread and butter of the caddy industry. All right, Chip, come on over. Always properly introduce yourself. That's a firm handshake. But wait, where's Wally? There he is. Why, he's in the wrong place entirely. Oh, Wally. Yes, you. Come on, there's work to be done. Don't make the man shake your hand. You're covered in gravy. Well, the day can only get better from here. Before starting a round, it's a caddy's duty to make sure there are no more than 14 clubs in his golfer's bag. Note the types of club your golfer plays, especially the driver and the putter, the two most used clubs in the bag. Take good care of your golfer's clubs. They're your responsibility now. Here we are at the tee box. Our first golfer approaches the tee, but where is his caddy? There's our man, 150 yards down the fairway, keeping a keen eye on his golfer's ball. This is called four caddying. And Wally? Wally's breaking two cardinal rules. 
Always stay ahead of your golfer and only speak when spoken to. What a dunce. Beautiful form. And quite a shot. He should be pleased with himself. Say, what's that gesture Chip's making? Why, it means that the ball is safely in the fairway. While forecaddying, there are a series of hand signals that every caddy should know. Fairway. Deep rough. Bunker. Out of play. Hit again. And that's the hand signal for moron. If the ball should go into the woods, the caddy will need to mark the point of entry. Same applies for a water hazard. A caddy's role is to know the ins and outs of the golf course. He'll need to provide his golfer with accurate yardage to the pin. The yardage is clearly marked on sprinkler heads throughout the course. Simply pace off the distance from the marker to the ball. That looked like five paces. So let's do the math. 187 plus 5 equals 192. He'll also need to know the topography of the green, aided by that day's pin placement. Well, it seems as though Chip has figured this hole out. A left to right break that tapers off towards the back. Lastly, wind direction and strength, about 10 knots east. But only provide club information when asked. Now, Wally, what are you up to? You know you're not supposed to pick the man's club. Well, let's see how this plays out. Drat, that's not going to help his handicap. And let's look at Chip's golfer. Well struck. And a left to right break, just as Chip described. Delightful. Ah, the great outdoors. The course is in pristine condition and we'd like to keep it that way. It's the caddy's job to perform certain maintenance duties during the round. When tending a bunker, pick up the rake and enter on the same line as your golfer. Always make sure to use smooth strokes. There you are, out and back in, nice and gentle, carefully removing all the tracks. Then set the rake back where you found it. Do not leave any tracks that weren't there to begin with. Wally, what in the dickens are you up to? Snow angels, you've really fouled things up. I hope you're proud of yourself. What a disaster. To replace a divot, collect the strip of turf, gently lay it back into the divot as neatly as possible, and tap with one's foot. Tap, tap, tap. Very nice, Chip. Oh, Wally, this is no time for horticulture. It is also very important for the caddy to keep his golfer's clubs clean after every shot. That a boy, Chip. Spick and span. Wally, you filthied up your golfer's bag as well as your bib. Unbelievable. Fixing a ball mark on the green is a piece of cake. Simply insert the repair tool on the outside of the blemish and push in towards the center. Do this from all angles and then pat down with a putter. Where'd that mark go? Impressive. Dag nabbit, Wally. Now you've really done it. What a mess. And you brought your golfer's bag onto the green. That's a big no-no. Inclement weather is no match for a well-prepared caddy. Whereas Wally is, shall we say, less than prepared. <clears throat> Let's go over proper etiquette on the green, shall we? As you approach the green, hand your golfer his putter. If the following hole is a short par four, inquire which club he'd prefer to use off the tee. Chip offers a driver or a two iron. Hmm. Driver it is. Chip will leave it at the next tee. When tending the pin, there are several simple rules the caddy must follow. The caddy must hold the pin while standing to the side of the cup, never behind the cup, where he'll be distracted. The caddy should also be aware of his shadow. 
making sure it never crosses between the golfer's ball and the hole. Standing on the other side of the pin will usually do the trick. Let's see how Wally does. Stop that tomfoolery, Wally. Back to work. When showing the intended line of a putt, the caddy may never touch the green, merely gesture to a spot. Good show. Oh no, Wally, what have you gotten up to now? Will you ever learn? At the end of each round, the caddy must count the clubs and make sure all head covers are accounted for. Well done, Chip. That should earn you a healthy tip. And it has. Put it towards that college fund. Caddies are held financially responsible for any lost clubs or head covers. It may be time to cash in those war bonds, Wally. And there you have it, all of the tricks of the caddy trade. See you on the course.